Hey there, my Minecraft viewers and my Roblox viewers. Today I will make a video that will interest you both, especially. I'm going to make the Minecraft breeding system, which I actually just made to make sure you know I know how to do it, so I can you know teach you guys how to do it. Um, so to my Roblox viewers, as to know what Minecraft is and how the breeding system works. Typically does if you have the say the chickens in Minecraft they breed using seeds so you like click one then you click the other one with the seed and then uh, they breed in the baby chicken yeah, like that um mine is how it works uh it's pretty simple so once I so I have the seeds in my inventory right so I click on the, this one if I click breed doesn't work there's a verification script um no value. Uh, once I click this and it checks if I have the seed in my in my inventory, it will make valid value one equals true. Then if I click the second one, it will make value two equals true. And once that works, value one and value two. When I click this button, it will check if value one equals true and value two equals true. It will fire a remote event to server script service, and from there it will make both of them come together, um, like that, like in Minecraft. And uh, a few seconds of baby check that's how that so works. So like that, bam, they come together. I know it's weird, but um, I'm I'm not, I'm not going to. There you go. See like that, and I can do another one. There's usually like cooldown too, which is pretty it's pretty easy to make. Just you know, just disable, then enable the script or put a wait. There you go. Now they're checking like that. So pretty simple. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a weird video. All right, let's uh, let's get let, let's get started. Okay, so we're just gonna use the exact same chicken. Actually, we can do we can make a cow this time. I'll make I'll make everything a set. Don't worry, guys. Um, a cow can look like this. Uh, so you guys know how to make um um, you know a sheep could work like that and fluffy sheep. And I actually love sheep in Minecraft. I think they're cute. I'm a weirdo. It's okay. All right. Ah, uh, sheep still like. Did they even have a face? That's a real question. Oh, whatever. Um, I'll just do an eye. That. It's <laughs> a weird sheep, but um. <laughs> what is this? Um, you know what? That that works. I I guess I get yeah. That's a, that's a sheep for you. All right. So uh, first we're gonna group it. Um, to save you some time, what you do is to make this into an actual moving humanoid. You just unanchor everything, okay? And you make this. You make uh. You need to have a head, torso, and you need root part. So I can make that uh, torso. Control D, duplicate it. Then rename it to humanoid root part so they're the same size. I'll uh, make that transparency one doesn't really matter because you can't see it, but uh, that'll be the head. Uh, and there you go. And everything's in anchor. You need to insert a humanoid. Then you have to insert. Oh, that looks nice actually. Ooh. Then you have to insert a uh, auto wield script. So bam, auto wield right there. All right, let's name this to sheep. Cheap one, cheap, cheap one, Steve. All right, there's Steve. Um, yes, work. Yeah. All right. All okay, right. So what you have to do is actually go to since this is separate. I'll just do it here. Uh, control one. Uh, sheep one. Sheep two. Accept sheep. There you go, easy. Alright, so sheep one. So in the torso, you can insert a click detector script and a click detector. So this is how it's going to work. Click detector, where are you? Ah, okay, there you go. Alright, so script dot parent the click detector, the not click, parent that function. Um, oh, yeah, I also have a seed in my thing so I'll actually I'm gonna copy this you just put like a tool in your starter pack in the first inventory I'm gonna call this one 
friend that's uh, my uh, sheep's breeze we uh game that game the rock the swords that sheep won that fire server fire oh not fire all clients not fire all clients uh fire client uh player and function player here there you go uh exact same thing call this one i'm not gonna name it alex that'll be weird steve steve two steve two potato potato and steve Okay, um, so one, two, star, yeah, there we go, sheep two, there we go, so sheep one, sheep two, hard, different ones, okay, so, once you got that down, let's go to a screen, to UI, let's just get that, there we go, and you, just, I'll call this one the sheep UI, alright, so it's simple, just make a text button, cartoon that, always do cartoon, read, uh, text zero uh, that color and that color all right there you go three one right there easy okay now you make the actual call script thing uh, that's good. there we go so once the ship one or ship two is fired you're going to uh, call it in a local script uh, so this is gonna work. So you're gonna do gain the replica storage that you have to do that you have to call for each one and check each one separately. So sheep one like that. So first you're gonna do script dot parent the text button that visible equals true. I'm not going to animate it. The animation for this one, same thing as ever do is the team position. Um I wanna animate this one. Um actually yeah, I uh I mean this means it won't take that long anyways. I'll uh, just get the position of it right now and position. It's not even time consuming. Um, that that I just hate doing this part. Okay. Okay. Now, if game dot players the local player that fact fact. If you equip it, it won't work. So if you want to check if it's equipped, uh, you have to check the character, or you can check both backpack and character. Um, but this one I'm just doing this. So if it exists, uh, script dot parent dot value one equals true. Uh, now we have to make the value itself. Uh, they are string values. So um, value one and value two. There we go. Easy. I uh, just do the exact same thing for the second one. Shoot two. Bam. Value two, bam, check, 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 done, done, done. All right, now the actual script. Um, we to do a script that pair the mouse button one click counter function. Now use local z equals um script that pair the pair the value one. Local x equals script that pair the pair the value two. Um, if z the value is equals equals to uh true. And x that value is equals equals to true. Then game replica storage dot accept that file server. Um, not accept. Um, accept sheep. There you go. Okay. And all right. I'm gonna do script. Script up. Let me just save my time from here. Uh, <laughs> there you go. I'm just gonna do this. Copy that. Bam. Script dot parent. The script dot parent. Then negative one. It will take it out of the screen. Wait one second. It usually takes one second. Uh, the visible equals false. Then you make. Then you go to make a separate script. Bam. Let's just call it cheap. Okay, and give it a good storage. The accept sheep. The uncon unserver event. Sorry, function. Call my function. Workspace. That Steve. The humanoid that move to workspace. That potato. Yeah, humanoid root part. That position. Sorry. This will make the match. Go together. And there we go. 
workspace dot potato dot humanoid dot move two I don't want them to teleport no. oh, workspace the cheap no Steve 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 okay, I'm gonna root part uh dot position got it okay now let's make a baby sheep just like that and then you know tiny tiny little sheep right there sheep and Steve and potatoes um Steve Stavato Stavato that, that's not cute at all. Strawberry. There you go. Strawberry. You know what? Why not? Why not? Um. I'll insert the liquid storage. Okay. And then what you do is actually move the text file itself to visible false and uh, position to negative one. There you go. And local z equals game dark with storage dot uh strawberry clone z dot parent equals workspace dot potato dot human dot 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 the head. There we go. Uh let's give it a wait time of for three seconds. And we are done. See that wasn't that hard. It's really simple. So you know, you click if you just click potato, it'll pop up, it won't work. But if you have beat right there, uh I'll send you guess oh all you want is not at all the screen if you want. Um by invite script dot parent huh? Hmm, what? Script dot parent no script that parent the value one. The v oh. oh right, 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 right. I forgot the value part. Okay, uh I think that's it. So I was saying, um this one only checks to so verify both. If I equip it it won't work. But it's there. But if I click it again, like that and then boom. Oh wait, did I forget something? I know like a baby sheep. Yeah, okay, I forgot something. I'm not forgetting. Um something here. Oh, I forgot to fire the thing. Uh except sheep. No wait, I did fire it. Did I? Oh, I never fired it. Wow. Yeah, never fired it. Okay. Well there we go. Fires now. Okay, so sheep, high sheep, click sheep, click sheep, move sheep, yep, there you go. And baby sheep, there you go. Chicken, one chicken, hey peep, not a chicken. Breed, bam, there you go. And baby chicken. Alright, that's how it works. And hope you guys enjoyed this oddly weird video from my Minecraft and Roblox viewers. And I'll put the model in the description for this one. I honestly don't know if you need this. Maybe somebody make an adventure game or something or breeding simulator. You know what? Animal simulator or somebody make it. You can make baby animals. Okay. But bye guys. Help. Yeah. Enjoy the video. Hope you guys enjoy the video. All right. If you want me to guys, I can't, I can't even talk because that's how weird. Uh, that's how weird scripting is for uh, this video. Um. If you want me to do anything else. Uh, any scripting, uh, just be be very specific. Um, and if I make you do like a certain script in a certain game that you like, just say like what kind of system you like. Like in Bee Swarm Simulator, uh, what like you want me to do like the be the beehive thing or I don't know. Okay, uh, bye guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's see on comments and see ya.